what we're trying to achieve with red to green is that we're not wasting patients time and that obviously on a red day we need to every patient starts on a red day and we need to action those days so that each action every day can then be achieved and utilized and to make that patient stay a green day so we're utilizing all the resources we've got in the hospital without having wasted any time yeah, so basically we started probably about six weeks ago and at first we were all a little apprehensive because we thought it's another meeting in an already busy day and especially two meetings, you know, so to be honest I didn't welcome it with open arms at first but if you said to me today I'm going to take that off you, I'd fight you for it. It's made a huge difference on rehab, you know, our discharges were always a little bit slow just because of the nature of the patients that we have. So our discharge, not that it's all on discharge, but it's certainly gone from 10 to 32 within our first two weeks. You know, so that made a massive difference. So at the minute, I think that what we've seen historically is individuals and different professions work together, work, work in isolation almost, yeah. and they, 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 and there's no communication, there's no team ethos. And what Red to Green does is it allows you to really build upon that MDT approach and work towards a green day collectively. We as therapists, we love a good MDT, we love working you do. with everybody and yeah. um, getting everyone involved and we love good communication. Um, so it's fitted quite naturally into the way that yeah, we, we as therapists work anyway. It just brings everyone else into a kind of yeah. a similar I think, mindset. I think um, like from being like a new ward manager um, on the stroke unit, seeing how um, Red Tree would work on general medical wards, you know, it's got like you know massive potential. I think the positive from having Red to Green is that um, on Red to Green it's someone taking ownership for them actions. So you know what are we waiting for that day? So is someone waiting for an MRI scan and whose job is it to chase and mm. when we're getting that MRI scan? Yeah. And I'd say that that you know people are taking ownership of having them actions and I think for the patient as well I think if they can understand what's happening then to them today to progress their care I think that's invaluable isn't it and we work with a lot of um, patients that have um, limitations to their function for whatever reason um, whether they've had a long stay in hospital because of illness or you know we, we're working on the stroke ward as well so if we've got somebody that you know is in hospital for the day and nothing has changed that day nothing's happened to them then they're at greater risk of deconditioning further reducing function further pressure sores etc so um, we're really keen on, on promoting the usefulness from a, a physical activity point of view as well yeah, great. I think um, it's a bit of a <clears throat> Not a culture shock because we do do elements yeah. of that daily anyway, but I think just the whole way that it's done was very different to what we were used to. I think. I think it's certainly like, you know, like Gail mentioned earlier, sometimes there's lots of changes that get made, like, you know, within the trust, isn't mm -hmm. there? And you, when you think you've already got a busy, you know, all of us have got a busy mm -hmm. workload and you think, how am I going to fit that in? Um, mm -hmm. When I feel like I don't have enough hours in the day anyway. It, but you know, it actually it makes more time. It, does, it gives yeah. you more time. It feels time quite demanding at first, but actually, it, once you get your head around it and you just yeah. get used to the way yeah. it works, you just you just change and adapt. Everything runs a lot smoother mm -hmm. when you start to use it. After a couple of weeks, you do that initial yeah. slog, and then it starts to really pick up. Mm -hmm. and, and you make it work for your award, don't you? So I just, I just want to take the opportunity, whether or not this is filmed or not, but just to say thank you. Everything that you're talking about here, like I was going to do an interview later, like, so probably don't need to do it now. <laughs> But on a genuine note, we've got the ambassadors of Red to Green sat in this room and we're really creating, I, I call it a viral connectivity, a social movement. You know, like Martin Luther King, yeah. he didn't sort of mm -hmm. present, I had a plan. He had a dream mm -hmm. and, and our dream is Red to Green. Mm -hmm. And we need people like you guys to keep flying the flag and you are doing. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, for me personally, this is just, it's, it's an absolute honor to be sat here listening to everything that I've just heard in the last few, few minutes. Uh, because it's fantastic work and it's right for our patients and also our staff. So uh, f f message for me is just simply thank you. Uh, seriously thank you. It's thank great. You. It's great work. It's inspiring. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>